Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. Why would you do it, Brent? Why? Well, because you're not my man. Well, but that, he, but no, he, wait, but he was trying to be, and you ruined it. No, he wasn't my guy, anyways. But, but I don't. No, he was trying to be your guy. You what? ruined it. You said you want true love. But okay. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. When this video appeared in my recommended videos, my first thought was, no, Uncle Shay Shay, what are you doing? But then it became clear, interviewing the agent of chaos, Brittany Renner will definitely get you views. But you can also utilize the agent of chaos as an example to educate others about what to be cautious of. That's exactly what Coach Prime did, remember? You graded what I'm you- I'm just supposed to be some Instagram thought, but here I am talking to Shannon Sharp. So you- so You gotta you, listen to me! So you graded what you do? I certainly am. And Shannon Sharp is doing the same thing. That's why the focus of this video is how Shannon Sharp conducts the interview and the questions he asks about dating, which provides valuable insight into determining whether a woman is of high or low quality. Make sure you watch the full video. The link is in the description. Let's get it. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah. We men ain't we? Yeah. But did you but did but did you think Did that, I think about the ramifications yes. of telling people that I had sex with multiple men? Yes, I don't care. It's the truth. If you don't if you don't see me as a potential dating person, then great, one less heart to break. Leave me alone, and I'm gonna continue to live but my you, truth. But, but you do understand, Brittany, that's hard for me. Look, like you said, public versus private. Now, if you and I having a conversation, and we're, you're sitting in here, we have a conversation, and you say, well, Shannon, I slept with this many men. Okay, that's one thing. That's between you and I. But to have that conversation, and then everybody, Sam, John, and everybody else knows it, that's a whole different, that's a whole different, that's a whole different ball game, Brittany. That's fine with me. I mean, I feel that. But see, that's selfish because all you're thinking about is you. What about him? He's got to be with you. <laughs> get her, Uncle Shay Shay. Get her. He has got to be with me. Or no, he, what has I'm the, saying. he has the privilege to be with me. <laughs> okay. Because you know how many women you've slept with? Brent. Do you know how many women you slept with? I'm yes the, or no? I'm doing the interview. Do you know how many women you slept yes. with? Yes. Double digits? Triple digits. <sighs> Here we go, sitting back in this position. Brittany. Double or triple? Brittany, I'm the interviewer. Are you at the interview? I can't ask any questions? You can ask questions. Okay, so how, but when how you have you your podcast, invite me on and you and I have this conversation, okay? Now, I just want to say, only have these conversations if you're doing a podcast or something like that. Because you're wasting your freaking time. You're not going to talk any sense into these delusional women. You heard what she said. A man has the privilege to be with her. Brittany Renner truly believes she is highly regarded or considered valuable in some way. And that a relationship with her is seen as an honor or benefit. The foolishness. But you can understand that you say... Because I like sex? Like what? you? Whoa, Britt, Britt. Because I like sex? Brit. Because I'm curious? We're mic'd up and we got boom mic. I don't got give... I don't care. But I'm saying, you can understand why people will find that hard about true love because they're looking at it. True love is not what you're look, but what you're saying, what you're selling doesn't seem what, like what true love What am I selling? Them. What am I selling? Well, I mean, when you go on and you're in your car and you say, well, I had sex with three men. That and was I'm, back in 2018, okay, okay, okay. by the way. Go ahead. Sorry, I mean, you No man, no woman can outrun their past because all it does, it makes you tired when it catches up with you. So what you did in 2018, people still know about it in 2023. So this notion that you said, well, it happened five years ago. It happened 10 years ago. People have what they call the internet. People have what they call memory. Mm. Damn! Damn. Preach, Uncle Shay Shay, preach. That was pure gold. But you're dealing with a Jezebel. Preaching doesn't work. Therefore, Uncle Shay Shay is not talking to her. He's talking to us. A woman's past matters. 
Getting to know a woman's past is like reading a book before you decide to become a part of her future. Now pay attention to this useful and needed information, fellas. Call it who God designed for me, none of that matters. So I don't care about all these people yapping about what I'm not gonna get, because if I wasn't gonna get it, it wouldn't be on my heart. If I wasn't gonna get it, I would not have been, I would not be experiencing the dark side of this coin. And that's why the world will bear witness to true love. <laughs> and they will become my footstool. And they will have to see this woman. This is my, this is my whole mission statement. Okay. I'm gonna tell the truth and still get everything I want. And they're gonna watch me. I don't have to play by your guys' rules. I do my way. Let's take it a step further to the end of the interview. Right. I follow my heart. That is what I stand by. And I believe that I'm going to tell the truth and get all the things that my heart desires. And the world is going to have to bear witness and eat their words. Is that, is that what it's about? Because, it, because so many people are saying she's never going to find someone to marry her with her track record, with her mm. background. You really want. Is that, is that, I mean, cause I, I, I mean, honestly. As I sit here and you know, we've had a great conversation, mm -hmm. but I do believe that as we sit here, you truly want to find love, but true love or to say, I have. You guys caught it, right? Let's add a little more context. Oh, I still want my ring. Wh whichever way I do it, I need that ring though, okay? <laughs> okay let's talk about the minimum eight carrots. Uh, minimum eight. <laughs> Uh, what what Jay Z say? Rock so big, can't can't even fit her hand in her new purse. Yeah, yeah I need that. <laughs> I need that thing. I had I need the one that I like. Got to take off some days. My baby's just too big. <laughs> it's just too big. <laughs> when these women are talking about true love, it doesn't have the same meaning for us men. Women love differently. Women do not love us for who we are. It's about what we can do for them. We are human doings in their eyes. That's why a man cannot buy her a $10 engagement ring. Because that's not going to boost her status. The sisterhood has to see her, acknowledge her, and then it's the one ex-boyfriend she had who really, 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 really hurt her, who has to see her. She wrote it in her book. Dennis, read. The turnaround time for how quickly I moved on would have been upsetting for any ex, but that was the point. I wanted Seth to hurt, which brings me to you, Evan. She was riding the hot dog carousel to hurt the man she still has feelings for to this day. She's alpha widow and now she's looking for a man as a prop to prop her up so she doesn't have to feel like a failure. That's why the ultimate goal is to have her cake and eat it too. That's the only way she can win, brothers. This woman right here is 40 years old without a kid and she is struggling. This woman right here is about three to four years away from being 50 years old, froze her eggs twice and she is struggling. And you know what? Brittany Renner is worse off than these other women. Yet. They are all looking to date the same top 10% guy. The foolishness. What she's done and be okay with that. Yeah. Do you think it's hard for that? Is it hard for an athlete? Because uh, athletes are very prideful. And they, and I, and, I, and, I, and, and don't take this the wrong way, but they kind of like, that's mine. And to know that that package has been unwrapped by somebody else on multiple occasions, it doesn't sit well with, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna keep it one, you say keep it 100, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. But then you have to go back to when there was the Derek Jeter diamond. That's what my track record's like. But Derek Jeter gets a segment on ESPN where they have his dating history in the, let me finish though. No, I, I ain't saying nothing, bring it up. You it. were I'm, thinking I'm, it. I'm, I'll get some water because so, I'm sweating it. Because my dating pool is, I mean, my Expensive. God. Impressive expansive i've had sex with 35 guys okay <laughs> Whew. oh lord <laughs> In 
this interview, she compares herself to men a couple of times. And that's the problem. You're not a man. Stop it. A key that opens many, 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 many locks is a master key. A lock that's opened by many, 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 many keys. That's a shitty lock. Her body count is so high. The predator says, Damn! Okay, I, I hear you loud and clear. A lot of the regular guys that I've attracted still have an athletic background. So nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I ain't talking about high school. I ain't talking about college. You know what I'm talking, I'm talking about. about. Guys who have played in college. Yeah, I'm they, saying, they still have an athletic background, so it's pro. like no matter. No matter. I'm talking about pro. <laughs> Pro, professional, MLB, NFL, NBA, MLS, the PBR, NASCAR. Stop it, Brent. We grown up in here. You know what you're attracted to. They know what they're I cannot, attracted to. I'm gonna, I cannot tell a lie. I've had a very magical time with a trainer in Austin, Texas. And we had a great time, we held hands, got tacos, and it was one of the most fun moments that I have. What? Well, I was flirting with someone on Twitter publicly and it changed things. Why would you do it, Brent? Why? Well, because you're not my man! Wait, he, wait, 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 he was trying to be and you ruined it! No, he wasn't my guy anyways. But, but I don't, no, he was trying to be your guy. You what? ruined it. You say you want true love. But, okay, hold on. You self-sabotaging. Oh, no, don't do that. I was in therapy for six years. No self-sabotage was that. You had a guy, he's holding your hand. He's taking you to get okay. tacos. You getting a, a lemon drop. You getting margaritas. And then you flirt publicly. Is that not self-sabotage? It's not self-sabotage. This was... Um, I would talk to one guy at a time. Okay. And it wasn't effective. It didn't work. So I was like, okay, I'm pouring all my eggs into one person at a time, not getting my desired outcome. That's what you're supposed to do. What? One so, basket at a time. Okay. From one perspective. But when you are talking about modern dating, most men are not dating one woman at a time. So where does that- That ain't got nothing to do with you. Damn! Damn! Well, it's my if there's a potential- But you like, said, but you said you believe in true love. So what somebody else is doing, you said that guy was taking you to get tacos. So was he dating more than one? He's gonna see this and be like, no, 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 no. talking about tacos. Oh, was he dating, let, let, forget okay, okay, what okay, else okay. they're doing. I'm talking about him specifically. Was he dating more than one? Yes. Okay, well, I ain't got no, well, you did what you did. Nah, Uncle Shay Shay. Two wrongs don't make things right. She was openly flirting with the other guy in public. Keyword public. Dating other people is not the problem, especially if nothing is official. Yesterday, I talked about respect being the most important aspect of relationships. When I used to date, if a woman would ask, I would be honest and tell her I was dating other women. I never asked a woman this question, but I knew I was never the only man she talked to. So it's foolishness to expect a woman in modern society to only talk to one guy at the time. However, it's still a turn off if she wears it on her sleeve. And that's Britney Renner's problem. Everything is exposed. Run! Get to the chopper! So Can you cook? I don't clean, let me. Well, that actually doesn't, that line doesn't apply to me because I don't have a ring, but uh. No, but I'm very passionate about fellatio. Does that matter? <laughs> I don't look at it as a chore, babe. This is embarrassing. She's a mother. Hold oh, up. I just asked, I mean, the dude, he gonna wanna come home and let's just say he's 9 to 5. I follow instructions. Huh? I can follow instructions. No, I honestly I believe cooking is beneath me. Huh? <laughs> I don't I don't belong in the kitchen. You're making it difficult. For, I, I, I'm really trying to help you here. I mean, you know, millions of people are gonna see this, and I'm really trying Ooh, to. They're help gonna you. drag me. I love it. I'm into that. Can't help this woman, Uncle. That's why we're not talking to women here, fellas. 
I understand that the quality of the women in the West are so low that when you go overseas and finally meet a feminine and kind woman that's willing to cook for you, you lose your mind. <laughs> Fellas, be cautious. When I say protect yourself at all times, I mean anytime, any place, anywhere. You have low quality women everywhere in this world. Just because she cooked once doesn't make her special. Have standards. Don't be a simp. Have a plan. You're the captain of your ship. A captain without purpose is a ship adrift on an endless sea. Do you want the man to the Okay, Brittany, I'm picking you up at I'm picking you up at 7 30, 8 o'clock. We're going here. You want him to plan the date, or are you going to plan or help plan? Yeah, women don't like questions. Don't ask me if I want to go to dinner. Tell me, you know, like, hey, this is what. What can they on. can they ask, Brittany? What's your favorite food? What do you like? No, that's fine, but plan it. Yeah, I don't. I have no desire to be a man in a relationship with a man. What happened to Fifty Fifty? Who said that? All the way. That's what Dwayne said on the last time. Yeah, yeah that. Fifty Fifty. Fifty Fifty. That's giving friends platonic. We made this channel for men. That's why we started this channel. Not because we hate women. It's because men's voices need to be heard and men need to be educated on the foolishness that's going on so they can protect themselves at all times. The channel is called Manosphere Highlights Daily. We highlight men's issues, female nature and the effects of society on human behavior. We encourage you to become the best man that you can be. But if you want to know how to do push-ups, then you have to go to the push-ups channel. If you want to know about money, you have to go to the money channel. I've said it many, 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 many times on this channel that I took my talents overseas. I had to look for content that could help me with that. So I watched a combination of channels, push-up channels, money channels, travel channels, language channels, and manosphere channels. Everything that I had to do to become the best version of myself. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. You know why? Because we men, ain't we? We men, ain't we? <laughs> man, that's where we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.